Good morning, you guys. So I have to start off this vlog with a little bit of a confession. Tomorrow is my birthday. And I just have to tell you right now that this space, the way it is right now, is the sweetest early birthday present ever. I have worked my fanny off out here this week and Tommy too. We have planted, we have amended, we have built worm farms, we have set up worm farms. All of those videos you can catch right here. <sighs> we got our little space to host a life group ready last night and it was so lovely to see people around the fire, be outside. The weather is like, it's the perfect fall weather. Though growing up, my dad used to tell me the same story every year. He would say, it was a day just like this and the Santa Anas were blowing and you were born. <laughs> just makes me remember all those times that he told me that story. Now, a lot of you guys know he's no longer with us. He passed away from cancer seven years ago, which is a huge reason why I'm so passionate about regenerative agriculture, natural living, holistic health, and all of those things. Oh, but I can just feel him saying that this, this year. It was a day just like today, 21 years ago. <laughs> That was actually the last time I heard him say that story was when I was 21. This year, if he were here, he would be saying, it was a day just like this 29 years ago. <laughs> Hitting the 29 mark, gonna live it up my last year in my 20s. <laughs> and by live it up, I mean plant lots of plants, have a baby, and dream the wildest dreams I possibly can. <laughs> Like I was saying earlier, all of our hard work has paid off because I get to plant more in our gardens, which I absolutely love. And it's such a treat to be able to do that on my birthday. <laughs> and while I am really excited to plant in the garden, I do have a second confession for this birthday vlog. <laughs> confession number two for this birthday vlog is that <sighs> gifts are my love language. And I'm not going to deny it because I denied it for years because I thought it was materialistic. And here is the truth is that it's not materialistic to be a gift giver as a love language or to be a gift receiver as a love language because it's not because I love having material items. I'm actually a minimalist and prefer not to have many material items, but it's because when somebody gives a gift, it's like them saying, I know you and I care about you and I knew that you would appreciate this. Like a lot of you have probably seen me with my new handmade mug from Jess and Jill. And it's like, I so appreciate that. That mug is so much more than the mug itself. It's that they know me and my passion for good coffee and tea. And they knew that I would appreciate this earthen mug. And I do so much. It's my favorite mug. I use it every day now. And so that is just an example. It's like, it's not just the thing itself, it's what it represents and how somebody knows you. And if you really wanna send me something or send us something for whatever reason or for my birthday, whatever, you absolutely can do that. However, you know what else would really bless me for my birthday and this would be a really cool gift? If out here thinking, wouldn't it be cool with almost 10,000 subscribers here at Hey It's A Good Life, which by the way is a gift in and of itself, like thank you so much. 10K is a huge milestone as a YouTuber, so thank you so much, like that is a gift, thank you. I would love to hear from you guys about something good. It would bless me so much to hear stories of good from you guys. And what I mean by that is, Tell me something good that's happening in your life. Tell me something good that you did for somebody else. Tell me a story of something good that is going on because I would love to hear it and I would love to share it. And the easiest way to do that is leave a comment down below this video. Another great way to do that is send it to me on Instagram and then I can feature these stories on my page. That would be so, so, so cool. So if you are thinking of me on my birthday and you wanna do something for me and love on me in my love language, I mean, yes, we have an Amazon wish list, And of course you guys can send us anything from there anytime. However, I think it would be really, really cool to hear from you guys stories of good. So tell me something good for my birthday. I would love to hear from you. Drop a comment down below or shoot me a message on Instagram. Why did I think that sitting on the floor was a good idea? I'm almost 30. Ah, oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> not super comfortable, not gonna lie. <laughs> we are going to be planting some Mongolian sunflower seeds in these experimental Hugel culture pot things that I've made. 
And if you're participating in my friend Jill over at Whispering Willow Farm, if you're participating in her seed swap, you're gonna get some of these in the seed swap from me. And I'm super excited about it because these came from a volunteer Mongolian sunflower in my garden this summer. And I'm so excited to see these things come up bigger and stronger. And I'm really into this idea of saving the seeds from like the strongest, biggest sunflower. I saw that done, I think, over at the Kramer Homestead on Instagram. And now I'm like, yeah, if they can do it, I want to do it. And so I might be running a little experiment over here as to the biggest, tallest sunflowers I can grow and sharing them with you as well. So I'm super excited. Let's get some of these in the ground. Whew. Okay. Okay, I'm giving up on sitting on the floor. <laughs> it's time to get a chair. Something I've noticed that works really well for planting, I don't know if this is just a me thing or a California thing, but is to make little wells so that the sparse amount of water that actually does arrive to these plants, um, it goes where it needs to go. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Another little gift that is popping up right now is the gift of the garden, which my friends helped me sew. And I'm seeing lots of little things pop up, which is super exciting. Now I'll do a full garden tour once things are more established, but I thought I would give you guys just a little sneak peek at what is starting to pop up here. we're looking at this together because upon closer inspection I am seeing some signs of pest damage which is like ugh, so rude didn't they get the message that it's my birthday pests don't be eating my plants on my birthday come on <laughs> okay it happens it's nature right living and learning as we grow so I think we're going to sow some more seeds and start to develop our pest control situation. I just gotta determine what exactly it is that's eating my plants. I have some theories that it's either our squirrels or earwigs or cabbage moth. Those are kind of like our three main predators out here. So you gotta do what you gotta do, protect your garden. Although this is kind of cool. I think I'm seeing some volunteer peas back here. Okay, those are either fava beans or peas from last year because I don't think anybody sewed back there, but maybe they did. I don't know. That's kind of cool. It just still never ceases to amaze me how exciting it is when little things start to sprout up. Okay, on the note of tell me something good or do something good, I've got two things to share with you guys. This is my lemon tree, and as you can see, she is full of lemons. Now, the cool thing about this tree the tell you something good portion is that I revived this tree with worm tea. So you wonder why I'm such a freak for worms is that I've seen the power of worms at work and I was able to revive this tree from basically death to producing lemons again. <laughs> I have a friend, Abby from Forgotten Way Farms. She has a YouTube channel too. It is so precious. You guys need to go check it out if you love all things huga and homemade and baking. She loves lemons and we have this little like homestead packed deal where I'll send her lemons when they're out of season where she lives in Idaho. And so now you and I get to do something good and collect some lemons and get these in the mail to her.
here's my haul. Not too shabby, not too shabby from bringing a tree on the brink of death back to life to produce lemons. <laughs> now I'm going to leave some on the tree for myself to continue ripening just a little bit because Abby and I are working on a little collaboration actually. So stay tuned for that. We've got a little holiday baking collaboration coming your way and I'm really excited for it. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been so good to be with you guys. I can't believe that we're probably gonna hit 10K by the end of the year. That is so wild to me. Such a gift. Thank you for all the gifts of sweet words of encouragement that you guys have given me along the way. And thank you for joining me, hopefully, in telling me something good on my birthday. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below or shoot me a message on Instagram as well. I really wanna hear from you guys. Tell me something good. I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.